Welcome. I am Patricia Cotaropoulos, and I'm grateful for you and the opportunity to share some important things with you today that I have learned during my lifetime quest for answers. During my journey, one of the concerns expressed to me most often is by people who are beginning to remember who they are and why they are here. As they awaken, they start to remember that there is a reason why they volunteered to come to Earth during this auspicious time. They realize that they have a purpose and that they have volunteered to accomplish an important facet of the divine plan. Initially, these awakening souls feel very motivated to fulfill their divine mission, and they are determined to accomplish whatever it is that they have come to Earth to do. Every day they pray and meditate and do whatever they can to add to the light of the world. As time passes, however, they start to feel as though their humble efforts cannot possibly make much of a difference with the enormous challenges taking place on the planet. Whenever they question their ability to really make a difference or initiate change, the I Am Presence encourages them to empower their efforts by joining together with other people. The problem is that often they don't know of any like-minded groups in their area, and they feel very alone and isolated. This is frustrating and very discouraging, which sometimes causes them to give up and stop trying. There is no way that our I Am Presence is going to let us just give up on this vitally important part of the divine plan. Consequently, if we try to stop doing our light work, we feel miserable and unfulfilled, which compounds our anxiety and frustration. This seems to happen no matter how successful we may be in other areas of our life. So giving up is not an option, at least not an option that we can endure happily. This is a unique moment on planet Earth. All of us have spent lifetimes preparing to be in the physical plane during this tumultuous but wondrous time. The Earth and all her life are ascending into the fifth dimensional frequencies of the new Earth. And you and I and the rest of awakening humanity are here so that we can invoke the light of God to help awaken our sisters and brothers who are still asleep and unable to do it for themselves just yet. Today, the company of heaven wants to remind all of us that we are never alone and that regardless of how isolated we feel or how limited our perception might be, the truth is we are multidimensional beings of light, and we are powerful beyond our knowing. It is true that it greatly empowers our light work when we are able to gather together physically with other people for our invocations, meditations, prayers, and activities of light. And we should do that whenever we can. But there are also powerful ways we can join together in consciousness when we are not able to be together physically. I will share with you that in my personal endeavors, experiencing this profound truth was one of the most shocking and amazing experiences I have ever had. Beloved Archangel Michael is the being of light who demonstrated this to me. One day, Many years ago, I was invoking my I Am Presence as I always did before beginning my meditation. In my mind's eye, I saw my luminous I Am Presence expand through my heart flame and take full dominion of my physical, etheric, mental, and emotional bodies. My I Am Presence became a brilliant sun and enveloped everything in my sphere of influence including my family, my home, my city, and the surrounding areas. As I said my invocations and prayers, 
the light of God flowed through my heart flame and expanded out to the periphery of the sun being formed by my I am presence. Wave after wave of light filled the sun and blazed in through and around every person, place, condition, and thing within the sun. When my I am presence determined that the activity of light was complete, the light I had invoked on behalf of my family and friends was secured in their heart flame by their I am presence. When I thought my meditation was over, beloved Archangel Michael appeared within the spectrum of my inner vision. He said that if I was willing, he would teach me how to exponentially expand my light work to include every person on earth. I cannot express how humbling and overwhelming his offer was to me. Needless to say, I gratefully accepted this opportunity. Archangel Michael then asked me to repeat the invocation I made to my I Am Presence prior to the invocations and prayers I had just completed. So I affirmed, I am my I am presence. When I said those words once again in my mind's eye, I saw my I am presence expand through my heart flame and my earthly bodies and become a brilliant sun that enveloped everything in my sphere of influence. Archangel Michael then said to me, now affirm, I am my I am presence, and I am one with the I am presence of every man, woman, and child on earth. When I repeated those words instantaneously, the sun of my I am presence expanded into a tremendous starburst of light that enveloped the entire planet Earth. A ray of light from this exquisite starburst entered the heart flame of every person on Earth and signaled to each person's I am presence to stand in readiness to receive the light being invoked on their behalf. Archangel Michael then asked me to repeat the invocations and prayers I had just completed. As I repeated those words, the light of God not only blazed through the sun that was formed by my I Am Presence, but also through the sun being formed by the I Am Presence of every person on earth. I do not have words that can adequately describe the monumental expansion of light I witnessed that day. But I understand now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what the beings of light mean when they say that we are powerful beyond our knowing. When we affirm that we are one with the I Am Presence of another person, and invoke the light of God on their behalf. The person's I am presence knows exactly how to use that light in perfect alignment with the person's divine plan and their highest good. We do not need to figure out just what their divine plan is or worry that we may be interfering with their divine plan by trying to force our will on them. Archangel Michael said that by simply affirming that we are one with the person's I am presence and invoking the light of God on their behalf, we give the person's I am presence permission to go into action and to utilize the light we are invoking in ways that are in perfect alignment with their highest good and their divine plan. This is possible because we are one and there is no separation. What Archangel Michael and our Father Mother God want us to know is that even if this truth is difficult for us to accept or comprehend 
with our finite minds. Every person's I am presence is absolutely aware of this fact. Our I am presence knows that in order for us to invoke the light of God on behalf of every other person on earth during our invocations, meditations, prayers, and activities of light, all we have to do is align with our I am presence and affirm that we are one with the I am presence of every other person. This is accomplished by simply saying, I am my I am presence and I am one with the I am presence of every man, woman, and child on earth. Once we make that statement instantaneously, our I am presence sends a signal to the I am presence of every one of the more than seven billion sons and daughters of God evolving on earth. This signal alerts every person's I am presence that one of the sisters or brothers is invoking the light of God on their behalf. Each person's I am presence then responds by standing in readiness to receive that influx of God's light. In that instance, we shift from being the microcosm of one person's I am presence receiving the light of God on earth to being the macrocosm of over seven billion people's I am presence receiving the light of God on planet Earth. This is a glimpse of the magnitude of what the words we are one really means. Quite literally, that statement means that every person on Earth is interrelated, interconnected, and interdependent with every other person on Earth. This is true whether or not we are aware of this on a conscious level. Hopefully knowing this truth will inspire you to keep on keeping on and prevent you from erroneously thinking that if you are by yourself, you are alone and not able to make much of a difference. On the contrary, once you accept how very powerful you are, it will be impossible for you to feel like your efforts are in vain. Dear one, in part four of my sharing on the Living in Awe and Wonder program, I will discuss with you what I have learned from the company of heaven about reversing the adverse effects of our human ego. God bless you. I look forward to being with you next time.